starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. Timmy, are you sure you're going to need all that food? You're only going to be gone a day, you know. No, no, no. You get awfully hungry on a hike, Mom. Is Mike going to bring some lunch, too? Sure. But don't worry. This won't be too much. Well, I suppose not. Forget your lunch. Here, Mom. All righty, now. Have a good time. And please, don't forget to be home before dark. I'll be home in plenty of time for dinner, Mom. And I bet I'll be starved. Come on, girl. Hi, Mrs. Roberts. Oh, hi, Timmy. Mike ready yet? Well, I'm sorry, Timmy, but I I'm afraid Mike can't go with you today. He woke up with a sore throat, so I think he'd better spend the rest of the day in bed and take it easy. Well, that's too bad. He didn't phone you because he kept hoping that he might talk me into letting him go. But you know how stubborn mothers are when they feel they're right. Yes, ma'am. Well, tell him I hope he feels better. I will, Timmy. Thanks. Maybe you can plan another hike later on in the week. Okay. Thanks. Hike today, girl. Well, maybe. Just the two of us. On a little hike. Come on, girl. This sure is a keen day for a hike. Too bad Mike couldn't come.
certainly is building up awfully fast out there. I hope Timmy gets home before this storm breaks. Uh, worst he could do is get a little wet. So you know this electric saw turned out to be a pretty good investment. Well, I suppose he could find some shelter somewhere. Now, Ruth, Timmy and Mike are old hands at hiking. Don't you think that if a storm came up, they'd find their way home? They're probably over at the Roberts' house right now. I bet you're right. I'll just call her and ask her to send him right home. Hello, Jenny. Uh, would you ring the Roberts' farm for me, please? Hello, Jean. Hi, this is Ruth Martin. Oh, hello, Ruth. How are you? Oh, just fine, thanks. How are you? Good. Is Timmy there? Why, no. No, he left here hours ago. Mike couldn't go on the hike because he wasn't feeling well, so I just assumed that Timmy went back home. No, no, he hasn't come back yet. I wonder where he could be. Hmm? Oh, uh, all right, Jean. Yes. I, I certainly hope that Mike's better soon. All right. Oh, yes, we'll call you just as soon as he gets back. Bye-bye. Well, he left there hours ago, alone. You don't think he'd be foolish enough to go in the woods all by himself, do you? Well, I hope he'd have a little more sense than that. Oh, I wouldn't be too concerned, Ruth. Timmy knows those woods pretty well. Well, I gotta go over that way anyhow. Jenkins' cow got loose. I might as well hunt for a boy and a dog at the same time. <laughs> now, don't you worry. Goodbye. are as dry as tinder. With all that wind blowing up there. Well, the rain will probably put it out. Yeah, sometimes these electrical storms are all lightning and no rain. <laughs> Uh-oh. There she goes. Attention all crews. Attention all hey, crews. Jim, you haven't seen anything of a boy about 11 and a collie, have you? No, I haven't. Flare up. You north of the stream. Concentrate all forces there. suppose the boy's up in the woods. I don't know. I didn't pass him on the road. I've got to stay here and direct the firefighting crews. If you think the boy's up there, you better organize the search party in a hurry. Can I use your car phone? Sure. Go ahead. I'll, I'll keep my eyes open for the boy. Attention all crews. Attention all crews. Be on the lookout for a boy and a dog believed lost somewhere in the woods. Sure. No, he isn't home yet. 
I see. Yes, Sheriff, I'll get there as fast as I can. Ruth, the, uh, the Sheriff's up in the woods. He hasn't run into Timmy yet, so uh, I think I better go up and help him look around before it gets any darker. Huh? Don't worry anymore, honey. Timmy's perfectly safe, I know. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll uh, get some of the neighbors together, huh? I'm sure they'd want to help, all right? I'll call you in a little while. Bring your jewels. Timmy's caught in the fire. Jim, Eddie, Timmy's caught in the fire. Jump in and help out, would you? Stream. We can work our way in from there. Go ahead.
heard something. I guess not. We better split up, Sheriff. You look around over there, and I'll recheck back here. Now, son. Dad. Glass. Glass, he wouldn't leave. Dad. Just take it easy. Leave. Don't try to talk to me. for a few days. I remember slipping on some rocks. But not much else. The fire and all, I was kind of scared. I'm sorry, Mom, Dad. To cause everybody so much trouble. I guess it just didn't think. Well, that's the whole point, Timmy. You didn't think. Now, you know better than to go off into those woods by yourself. Too many things can happen. Now, from now on, Timmy, I... Do you think he learned anything from this, Lassie? 